everybody, Vasky here. Welcome to the new Quark website. Now, you may be looking at this and asking, Vasky, have you hit your head on the same place you did when you implemented Dayblooms? And my answer is no. It might look exactly the same, but there is a very key difference. Let's open up one of the modules. And as you can see, what used to have a bookmark is now replaced with a checkbox. Now, you might ask, what does this do? And I tell you, before I can explain, we need to talk about parallel universes. Now that's not quite correct, let's just open up the game. And this is something you might have never seen before. This is what is going to show up every time you load up Quark for the first time. The first time is defined as when there is no config file. So if you're opening it in a mod pack, the config file will be there, you'll never see this, it's fine. If you had time to read it, you have. If not, pause the video and read it, let's just carry on. Now here, this button just takes you to the website, as you can see, and this button opens the new in-game config. You can click it here, it's not obligatory, I'm just gonna skip, and here we are in the main menu, and you might see something new, there is now a Q over here, this is the config button. So let's click Q, and we are now in a new Quark config. There is a very quick setting to disable the Q button. If we click it, it is no longer here, we have to go to mods, Quark, config, and enable it again. There you go. And here you can see the various modules. You have general settings, which are just general settings as the name says. You have a website button again, and you have the import config. Now, before we go to the import, let me show you that you can just very simply disable modules here. As you can see, it tells you you have to restart the game if you disable a full module. Let's go to the automation. And here are all the features in the automation module. So let's start disabling some of them. And as you can see, they need you to restart the game. If you click the little wrench here, it just opens up a more complex panel, just like it used to. This is for more in-depth configuration. If we go to the world setting, you can see there are multiple pages for entries with a lot of features. And let's try to find a feature that does not require the game to be reloaded. So let's go to the client module and let's disable the chest search bar. And as you can see, it no longer says that you need to reload your game because this feature does not require that. Now for the in part config, this is what the check marks are for in the website. So let's go back to the website and let's say we don't want automatic recipe unlock. You can see something just showed up. I click this and it became a cross. And we don't want blast proof choker boxes or burning baby zombies or chicken chatting. And as you can see, we have four features disabled because we have just turned four of them off. If we go to some other module, let's say we don't want angry creepers or chest searching. Now there's six. When we click copy, it copied it to the clipboard. If I open up a thing here, as you can see, it's a little string of different feature names. Now, when we go to the game, we can just paste it here, and they are all here, as you can see. Oh yeah, it's as I need to decide now. But they're all here, and if I click import config, you can see that six features have been disabled, and now it forces me to restart the game so that they can apply. So the new Quark website now lets you disable features, lets you copy them over to the client, and this then lets you configure the mod very simply. You don't longer have to work on config files or anything like that. It is just really simple now. I did this because a lot of people were saying the config file is too huge and they don't want to look at it. <laughs> so here's a lot of new user experience features that you may find useful. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you next time and hope you enjoy this.